so we'll place it on our website in online courses. First of all, let me uh, thank you for coming. Uh, we are really uh, we appreciated your attention and your interest in our product. Uh, just uh, a few questions uh, before we start. First one, let me know if you have tried a medium light already. Just type plus, please, in questions. If you tried a medium light already, type plus. Okay, if you if you haven't, minus. So far, so good. So we see that uh, we have many people who haven't tried it yet, which is good. Uh, okay, we'll convince you to, to do it. Uh, sharing with you new information. And the second question is about Iridium Pro. Have you ever used Iridium Pro? Our product, uh, which is available since last year. Have you tried Iridium Pro? Type plus. It's kind of questionable. Okay, there are more people who have tried it, but still there are newcomers. So you are very welcome to to a medium solutions. Okay, thanks a lot. Let's start uh, to talk about a medium light. What is this? So it is an application for smart home which uh, allows you to uh, set up a control project without any programming. So it takes less time than it is uh, with a Iridium Pro. You do it right from your control panel. Uh, let me let me check. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, there was a question about the sound. If everything okay with sound, let me know because some of you guys uh, face with some issues with it. Can you hear me well? We can proceed. Sounds okay, they said. So probably. Uh, uh, Joachim, if I pronounce it correctly, uh, you should check it on your side because on our side it, it works fine. Sound is good. Please check it on your PC. <laughs> Breeze here, you will. Okay, that's good. Okay, good. So let's uh, speak about what task it solves. What is it aimed for? Uh, well, uh, as you may know, a year ago we've uh, announced uh, Iridium Pro, uh, which is for unique visualization with custom tailored interfaces, where we also announced Iridium Server Solution, which is a software agent, uh, and you were able to install it on different hardware platforms. So we used to work on Iridium Lite for a couple of years already, and we are really happy to finally have it released because we see uh, good potential in this product actually because of its simplicity. Uh, we understood that professional integrators, and uh, many of you are professionals, uh, but still uh, not any project uh, requires uh, custom tailored interface. Some of them really need something fast uh, to set up and use it, I don't know, in an hour, uh, within an hour uh, after the project is ready. So that's why Iridium Light came here. Uh, what it works like. First of all, it's a multi-brand solution, multi-protocol solution, as well as Iridium Pro. It supports more, more or less same drivers as it was in Iridium Pro. Plus, uh, there is a unique thing, which is Iridium Store. It's a marketplace where you can uh, use and see many modules for professional systems as well as for IoT gadgets. So it is a uh, high volume of modules available right now. And the number of modules is growing because of us at the moment, so we work on new modules for new hardware, but also it's uh, available for third-party developers who know say video script, say video studio, to, uh, to um, increase the range of supported brands. Uh, third-party developers can make modules for free or paid uh, following our API. 
we'll let you know about it a bit later. So multi-brand solution designed for home automation as well as for commercial projects uh, where a big number of standardized objects uh, are required, allocated. For example, hotel rooms or multi-apartment buildings as well as office buildings. So let's say hotel. Normally they have several typical uh, rooms uh, and it doesn't matter how many uh, number of rooms they have. Normally there are three up to five uh, typical rooms to use. Uh, and using iVideon Pro it would be not so easy to copy past all of them. It's possible but still uh, with iVideon Lite uh, it's more convenient to use. Uh, so as an example of usage. But of course home automation, home theaters uh, apartments and houses are the um, aim for a medium light, aimed project for a medium light. Third thing, uh, it is without unique user interfaces and it has no free logic programming. What it has, because of the simplicity as you actually uh, make a configuration right from the control panel, uh, you make an interface using blocks, using actually widgets, which arrives uh, from Iridium Cloud. They cannot be customized, but as a result you get a constructor which you can modify, not in case of architecture, but in case of location of these widgets. Uh, we have logic part as well, but it's not about free logic, it's not about JavaScripts. You can do it with rules, with schedules, with matrices. Also, we'll speak about it. So it's fast solution, fast setup of control project with typical uh, standardized uh, interface. Another thing, it is for quick control project set up right from the panel. So as I said, uh, it's a difference comparing with Iridium Pro uh, that Iridium Lite is configuring right on your panel. It is configuring from the installer still. So it is designed for installers actually. So it's B2B solution. We sell licenses to you, to installers, and then you resell it together with the project to an end customer. Uh, what is new uh, comparing with a video program? It's a logical part, part which can be changed by end customer. Uh, here I should make one important remark. The ability to change logical part uh, is your decision. You decide who is able to change it. Uh, I mean, for each project uh, you are not, uh, how to say, it. it's not required to provide it to all. Uh, but as a solution, as a result, end customer would be able to change microses, uh, uh, routines, and schedules if you allow him or her to do it. Uh, we'll show you how it works. But as a as a solution, um, once you're ready with a project, a customer can change it by, by him or herself without calling you, uh, which is convenient for end customer. Yes, and it's developed for installers and lots of illustrations, not for programmers. Let's compare uh, Light and Pro. Why we want to compare them? Because we still work with two of these products, but they have uh, difference. First difference is about the audience. Uh, Pro solution is for complex projects with unique uh, interfaces uh, which require high professional uh, integrators involved in uh, setup. Light is for installers, is for those who do not care about uh, programming, about design of the interface. They just want to get it fast and simple to use. Another thing is about configuration. So, in a reading light, it's done in our application. The name of application is i3 light. 
It's available at uh, the App Store as well as on Google Play. Plus, you can get on our website uh, set up for Windows uh, 8 or 10 version. As well as we have APK, APK for Android gadgets, which do not have uh, Google Play. For example, it's very important for Asian market, for Chinese market. In a video pro, you have to use an editor which is installed on your PC. We call it a video studio. And you have to learn how to work in it. That's why it's not so fast. Uh, it requires more time to, to get used to a video studio. Another thing is about uh, user interface design. So in light version, in light product, it is fixed and standard which gives you uh, time safety. In a video pro, you create unique and flexible designs as it was before. Uh, talking about drivers, about what is integrated with a video. In light, we have modules in a video store. So it's kind of applications like in the app store, but for smartphone control. Modules could be created for professional system automation, uh, for audio video equipment, for IoT gadgets. Uh, but they, they are developed following our APA, following our rules of its architecture. And it's actually approved by us if we are talking about third-party developers. Comparing with a video pro, uh, we had native drivers, uh, which were created by us, and GS modules. You were able to create them by yourself. The only limit was this kind, and is this kind, actually. So you can create it without any rules, just using uh, a video driver development kit, including a video scripts. That's it. Then you were able to use modules, JavaScript modules, only in your projects. In a video like any module has to be approved by us, which means it will be uh, uh, seen to all users of a video like, which is important. So you cannot create something for yourself and just keep it with you. You have to approve it. Once it's approved, it's, uh, it's public. Uh, so yeah, free programming. In a video like no, in a video pro, Yes, for creating drivers, for creating models, you still use a Redium Studio if you are a developer of models, but you use it following our API. And another thing which is important for installers, for your business, is about licensing. In a medium light, we do not count how many panels, control panels, are connected to the project. Also, we do not count what kind of drivers, drivers created by us, you are going to use. By drivers, I mean Crestron, KeyMX, HDL, Global Cache, Modbus, etc., etc., etc. But we count how many sub devices are in the project. So what is a sub-device? It's a functional object that you control in a medium light. Let me give you several examples to make it clear what is it. Let's say, let's say you have a sensor which is eight in one. For, uh, it's a moving sensor, it's an IR uh, blaster, what else is it for? Uh, air mm, uh, control, etc., etc. But if you are going to use only two of the sensors which are included, it means you are going to use two active sub devices in your project, which means you have to pay for a license which allows you to use them. Another example is about Philips Hue. For example, you have three lamps of Philips Hue, but only one bridge uh, which connected with them. Uh, if you use all of them, all three lamps, you have three sub-devices. If you use just one, you have one sub-device. So that's 
how to say the philosophy of iridium light licensing. Why we've done it like this? Because normally when you have a bigger project, you use bigger number of sub devices. It means you pay more buying uh, a license which consists of more sub devices. Uh, we will go to our website to show you a calculator, how it looks like, so for better understanding. In Iridium Pro, we used control panels and text data, data points uh, as parameters to uh, make our licenses. For one panel, the price was less. For five control panel panels, the price was higher. Again, in Iridium Light, it doesn't matter how many panels are con connected. The only thing is about sub-devices. That's the main difference. Uh, to sum it up about the advantages of Iridium Light. So it is easy setting from a control panel without programming. Uh, and it has a great feature about uh, scanning. You actually may scan many systems which are supported by us. Moreover, if you are a third-party developer, you are able to create your own scan. I don't know for uh, for some system or hardware. It allows you to automatically uh, search the devices available in your network. Once you found them, you can upload them from a video cloud and get modules to control them. Models, uh, module consists of driver and visualization part, which is graphic, which, which is widget. The only thing you need to do once you finish with uh, uploading modules is to, okay, uh, stop some parameters of them and put them in the right zone. Going to uh, the very beginning, with a video light. How you start? Uh, with testing, with working with it. First of all, you download uh, the application from App Store or Google Play or from our website. Uh, you have to be uh, registered on our website as a dealer if you want to control, to create your own project. That's important. Uh, because inside Ice Relight application, we have login and password fields. Uh, if you are end customer or you are not registered as dealer, you won't have an access inside the application. You won't have an access to configuration of the video light. So once you uh, authorized and log in, logged in uh, the application, you can create floors and rooms in the interface. So you make kind of architecture of your project. Let's say you have a house with two uh, floors, uh, you choose the first floor, name it, choose the icon from our library, uh, add zones which are located on the first floor, uh, change their name, icon, etc. etc. Once you're ready with this part, you're going to the, the, the third one. It's about adding uh, devices. So you can add them automatically, for example, uh, if we're talking about uh, HDL or Domintel or Duotechno system, or you can add them using, for example, in case of Kinex, you can import ETS file uh, to uh, i 3 Lite using Iridium Studio for this purpose, uh, or you can use Bowers Wizard, uh, which allows you to scan the network, the Kinex bus, through Wizard Bowers 771. 2 or 777. Once you're ready with it, you upload all modules from the cloud. So in this case, you have to be connected to the internet on this step. Uh, you get them on your uh, device. You add these control modules in different rooms. And actually, control interface is ready to use. You can test it, of course, uh, change some positions of the widgets, add some photos, add matrices on the main page, for example. Once you're ready with it, you've tested, you give the project to a customer. We are a video cloud. So actually, the thing you do 
is mention uh, is specify his email uh, once the project is in the cloud. Uh, and customer will get an email where it said, "Okay, this integrator made a cust uh, made a project for you. Please create your own account and user account and uh, log in to a video light application. Of course, you have to download it. That's it. Once the project is uploaded to uh, the end customer panel, uh, they can go offline, totally offline." So it means Iridium Lite will work uh, in local network. It's okay. What kind of equipment and services we support? Uh, here is a small part of the equipment we have in Iridium Lite. There are more. Actually, uh, have released it a couple of weeks ago. We uh, have uh, more than 100 modules available right now. Uh, you can see the ability, the supported brands in a video store. I will show you how it looks. What kind of features the product has? Um, a video store, it's a unique thing which was not available in a video pro and it's not available yet not connected to Iridium Pro, which consists of modules to control automation equipment, audio video equipment, IoT gadgets, and services. By services, we mean uh, weather widgets or uh, Gmail service, for example, and many others can be created. If you are a potential third-party developer, it could be interesting for you that modules uh, could be paid. So you choose the price, or modules you want to sell, each module uh, will be sold for a project, so it's not for a long uh, lifelong of an integrator. Uh, each module, each purchase of the module is required for each project. So you sell it, uh, how to say, constantly actually. And once you um, approved it, uh, we are our system, it's public, it's available for all our installers. Currently, we have about 15,000 installers registered in our uh, system. We expect to get more because of Iridium Lite. Actually, there are about 80% of installers on automation, mar uh, automation market which are not programmers at all. So we aim this uh, product on them. So models are developed by us, and now um, more of the <clears throat> most of them are developed by our team. We do not stop with the development. Uh, there are roadmaps to get new and new models, but also with the help of third-party developers. So we built a community of uh, people who can make business together with Iridium, not only selling projects but also selling models. And as I said, there are more than 100 models available now. Another thing is about logical part. Uh, I will show you some screenshots, but Alexander will show in details how it works. First thing is about macroses. So you are able to create any number of actions assigned to one button without programming. So on the right side of the slide, you can see how it works. So actually, you just choose which devices should do uh, which function, turn off or to dim or to turn off, on. And you also can, uh, can use conditions. Uh, for example, uh, we call it but only if. So, but only if, I don't know, the motion sensor detected some movement or uh, but only if it's uh, a weekend and something like this. There could be many of them in the system of microservices. Again, you create them on a control panel. Another thing uh, which is really interesting as a logical uh, solution, uh, we call it routines. What you can do, it's like FTTT more or less, uh, but again, FTTT requires uh, connection to the cloud. We do not. 
uh, required. So you can choose when something happened, when we use a, a basal dog uh, volume more than 70%, then we want this relay uh, be on, but only if uh, there is a motion detection uh, happened. Uh, there could be many actions, many devices, many services connected to uh, <clears throat> to action when, to action then, and to the condition, but only if. Also, you can base them on schedules, actually. Schedules is about the time of beginning and the end of equipment or service work. So you can do them just once or make them periodically depending on what is required. When you uh, made them, you choose where you save it actually, on a panel or on the server. So then we'll proceed with the server part. Another thing is about localization. Uh, let me remind you or tell you that we are multi-language solution. An interface can be created on different languages but we also do a configuration menu localized. So now it supports uh, about seven languages. Uh, many of them, of course, we have uh, English, uh, Deutsch, German, and also Chinese simplified, and Netherlands, Russian, etc., etc. If you want to see your language uh, supported in system menu, for example, you are a distributor and you want your dealers to understand how it works, but it's difficult for them to use English version. Please contact us if you uh, want to have it translated and you are ready to help us, we can do it together. Now talking about a medium server. Uh, before actually, I mentioned just i3 Lite, which is application, which is for visualization for control uh, just from your panel. But there is another part which is a video server. It is for logical things which you can store on this hardware which runs 24-7. We have several recommended solutions that we recommend to use if you want to have a video server in your project. Here I presented three of them. As you may see, uh, two of them Iridium server based on Raspberry Pi and Iridium server based on Intel NUC are available for Iridium Lite and for Iridium Pro. We also have Iridium server based on UMC, which is a uh, KeyNX controller. It has KeyNX interface uh, and can work, can be used for KeyNX configuration, KeyNX bus configuration. Now it's available with Iridium Pro. We are about to make it with light version only. So if you want to use a hardware and you don't know which one to use, because actually a medium server as a software uh, can be used on Windows, on Linux machines, we recommend to use three of them. For light, it's Raspberry at the moment, and look, UMC will come. We'll run. Uh, on our website, we show you where you can buy them, how to assemble them. Uh, for example, in case of Raspberry Pi, how to assemble it in DIN rail case, uh, what kind of other components are required. Uh, so we, we have kind of a guideline. Uh, as I mentioned, Iridium Lite works locally. If you don't want to, have, be, uh, to be connected, it's okay. Uh, because of a medium server, logics of equipment, of services, work 24-7. It means that all matrices, routines, and schedules uh, work non-stop every day of the year, uh, running on the server. So it doesn't matter if the panel, panel is, uh, the battery is low and the panel is switched off, it will work. Scenes, routines, uh, uh, schedules and matrices. Uh, because of Iridium server, you can get remote control. Uh, so uh, now we have port forwarding and VPN support, uh, which allows you to be connected remotely. Uh, 
so you are able to control it from any part of the world. Here is another thing uh, which I'd like to mention. It's a new product. Uh, we call it a reading gate for HomeKit. Uh, now we are about to choose the right hardware for this, for this gate because actually it will run off on a piece of hardware. Uh, now this information of this solution is available now on our website. What is it for? We have our part of protocols of uh, equipment, smart hardware, which is supported by video. HomeKit, and they have great thing which is Siri, which is about voice control. Uh, some users prefer to use their home application, so why not? We made a connection between this part of professional systems and everything which is uh, available with HomeKit. Uh, example of usage <coughs> this solution. If your customer uh, already has a project, already has a smart home, but without voice control, you can come to him uh, if he is interested in voice control, you just add a gate to the installation connected to Keynix, to, uh, to potentially AMX, or Crestron, or Modbus. Uh, and they have Siri, they have voice control of everything that was already installed. By everything, I mean, of course, everything that is supported by Iridium in case of professional systems. So if you want to use voice control, next week we'll announce which hardware can be used as a platform for you. Uh, we also have uh, further plans for Iridium Lite, some of them we would like to share with you. Uh, now we have one type of interface of scheme of design with Iridium Lite, which is iOS design. So it looks more or less similar to what you have on your iPad or on your iPhone, especially when you go to system menu, for example. We understand that not mm, all customers uh, would like this white um, background, for example, or this style of icons. That's why we, we want to make several skins available for you to choose. Black one or blue one, like in metro style, and their number will increase. Uh, but at the moment we work on several of them. They will be available very soon. Uh, the architecture of the interface will be the same because of the widgets, because of the module structure, uh, but skins, designs, uh, potentially, and in the future, will be different. Another thing which is uh, very close to be released is push notifications. So if everything, uh, if anything changed, uh, a customer can be notified. So it's easy. And it's required. We, we understand that's why we work on it. For example, the leakage uh, sensor uh, is on, or you got some alert, or IP camera uh, is detected something. If it is with motion motion sensor, <coughs> you're able to get notification with it. We also work on a Iridium server part, which is about data collection, uh, storage, and analysis. So it's required to build trends and graphics uh, on your application. So it's about energy efficiency. Also work on it. Uh, OK, the final thing that they have is about Q&A, but we'll come back to it after Alexander's part. Now let me just switch to uh, our website to show you um, basic things about our licensing that I already uh, mentioned in, in the presentation. So here you can see how the calculator of Iridium uh, light is look like. Uh, you can choose to use visualization only, only application or server. So it's, uh, it is end user price, so keep it in mind. Dealers have special prices. If you are not registered yet, yet you can do it. 
Uh, so here we mentioned what you can do with it. Then we have three main types of licensing. Starter one, which is for, for example, home theaters, multi-rooms, apartments, meaning small ones, or hotel rooms. Uh, so learning from our experience, it's more than enough for these types of uh, objects uh, to have up to 40 sub-devices. Here is the price. Uh, we have also basic ones, which is for apartments or middle size house, office. Uh, the price is higher, but still we do not limit you with panels or drivers. And we have advanced one, which is for offices or uh, really bigger houses, let's say, more than 500 square meters. Also, you can create your custom license. Uh, what does it mean? Let's say you don't have up to 100 sub-devices, but only 80. Uh, you can enter this number and see how much it will cost. So here is a uh, street, uh, uh, street price, and user price. Now you can see it uh, on the website. If you choose server, if you choose server, now we recommend to use Snoop or Raspberry Pi. We do not sell it from, uh, from our, our, our office. Now we work with our distributors, with our authorized partners, who will uh, uh, resell these solutions to you with pre-installed Iridium server, with uh, pre-activated, let's say, license. The only thing you need to do is to power it, uh, connect to the internet, and activate it using so-called activation code. Uh, just a quick example, uh, we show here where to buy a video server, so uh, based on Raspberry Pi, of course from uh, official Raspberry uh, distributors, and we also provide an instruction how to, how to get it ready. So it looks like this, how to assemble it, uh, what kind of uh, components are required, where to get it, how to do it, etc. Et so I completely understand that it's not for all dealers. It's not suitable to assemble it by yourself. That's why we work with after partners to be able to resell them, assemble it already in DIN rail uh, case with all components, with, with SD card, with a medium server software, everything. You just plug it in and work. Da, 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 da. And for Intel Nook, as it's uh, the box is already here, the only thing we do is to uh, show you which parameters are uh, recommended, uh, what memory you have to, to have, and what operating system should be used, and where to buy it, how to install a video server on it, etc., etc. Again, if it's not suitable for you, next week we'll add our after partners who will resell them. Of course, it depends on regions where are you from, but you will see the list next week. Uh, there will be not where to buy, but order, and you will see regions where it is available. It's already coming, we work on it. Another thing just to show you is about our website. So you see the products available right now. A region light is among them. Uh, you can calculate its price as I showed you, see everything about the product, and then you can go to a medium store to see all models. That's what I want to, to show you just for a minute. Uh, first of all, we have several filters uh, with brands which already are in, in the store. I will show it to you. A bit slower. We can choose which one we want to see. Set the filter. And here you can see the list of modules from HDR. To go through the module, uh, it allows us to see what's inside. So here you can see the widget, how it looks like actually. And kind of a description, what this model is able to do. You can, uh, okay, uh, highlight it uh, with 
uh, up to five stars if it's okay for you and also leave your feedback. In case of filters, we also have it for uh, so-called categories. For example, for climate control, you can choose uh, which brands you want to use. Let me just go on from HDL and show everything that we have. Now we have, of course, uh, NetDatmo, Duotecno sensors, uh, HDL, of course, Kinex, as well as Nest and Coolmaster Net. That's how the stories look like. Here you can see uh, two links. Uh, a green one plays a new model, which is for third-party developers. When I go through it, I see this window where I can add already made model. So I go into it, I, I call it, uh, okay, just test. One, I choose is it model or a scanner, I add it, and before to send it to the approval, I make kind of a description, what is it uh, about category, what is the manufacturer, uh, and of course I uh, drop the file uh, to, to be approved and reviewed by us. Here we see on which stage the model is. If it's approved by us, then it's public. Another button in a reading store is about ordering a model for the development. So if you do not want to develop a model by yourself, why not? You can uh, add a request which model you want to see to be added. Uh, in the list you can see several modules which are required by our customers or by us. And some of them uh, have developers. The number of developers is not limited. So there could be several of them just for one module, and then they will be published. It's OK for us, because the competition will be about the, uh, how to say, the quality of the module, as well as it will depend on the pricing. If it's too high, OK, then they will prefer to use another one just like in the App Store. Uh, here we also have rating. Uh, in this case, we can see uh, which modules are more required. So you can see, you know, you can vote for them, for them, of course. And I, as a module developer, of course, can apply for it, uh, for the development and start. What else? Uh, it's about model developers. Actually, there should be another webinar for them. But still, if you are interested to become a model developer, just go to to this section, uh, FAQ for for development modules, and you will see a basic uh, information about how to start. To test a video light, here is a magic button. A video light right now. When you go to it, here you can see the steps. Sign in, download, to see video tutorials, which are on our YouTube channel. And also we have FAQ for model developers here, if you want to become. Uh, OK, that's, that's all at the moment from my side. Now I would like to, uh, to, to go through the questions. Yes, Alex? Yes, let's, let's do it. <clears throat> okay, about your question. Uh, one moment. Uh, so, uh, is it possible to make configuration on PC uh, or only on panel? No. Uh, you can use uh, emulator on Windows PC and you can use uh, and you can make configuration on PC. It's possible. Uh, models. For free, oh, about the euro models. Uh, if you made a new model, this model are available for all uh, users. And if you want, uh, this model will be free. But if you don't want, this model uh, will be open. Yeah, uh, just one remark about the paid modules. Uh, for early cars, 
uh, I mean all e-commerce uh, of developers, we make a commission splitting it by 80 to 20. 20% 20 go, uh, goes to us and 80 to you. Uh, next year it will be 60, 40. So for those who will start not now, but will wait, they are welcome, just the commission will be different. For those who want to start right now, it's a good chance, uh, chance to make better commission. Okay, next question about uh, can I use uh, light on Android without server if uh, this Android uh, can mm -hmm. always turn on? Uh, yes, you can, but uh, for some functions, um, server is needed. Uh, for example, it's a push uh, noti notification, remote control with port forwarding, etc. Uh, some models uh, for good work uh, needed a server. Uh, for example, it's a Siri. Uh, it's about uh, voice control. Uh, with, it's, it's not work without server. Uh, it's about Amazon Echo. Uh, server, server needed too. But you can use uh, panel as um, as an application for your rules, uh, schedules, etc. It will be work. Uh, can we get the presentation at the yes. end, please? Yes, of course. Tomorrow, not at the end, but yes, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. When will uh, our new date for HomeKit be available? Uh, we planned it uh, on May. It's uh, the beginning. Of, no, of sales, of sales. So yes. as I mentioned, now we just need to, uh, to choose the right kind of hardware for this gate. Mm -hmm. And once the tests are finished, the high load tests are finished, we will announce it. Yes, about uh, Iridium server in uh, distributors. Okay, uh, about where is it? it? So, yeah, uh, another thing is about uh, the servers. Uh, currently, uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, we sell it through us, uh, talking about uh, Russia and SIS, and we also have a website uh, made uh, with uh, thanks to our trace partner in the Netherlands. The site is iridiumserver.com. Uh, here you can find uh, different solutions as well as based on RPI or on UMC. So you can <clears throat> you can go through this website if you are from Europe, for example, to buy uh, the servers which is required. So it's just a minute of the advertisement for Tevo. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. In one project, we need uh, different users to have access to different parts of the house. Uh, for example, only the house owner has access to complete house. Uh, the children have access only to their particular rooms. For now, this uh, it's not possible in our product. Uh, you can uh, give access uh, only on. Uh, the whole, whole project for, whole project, for yes. everyone with uh, similar rights, but uh, it is important. That's why we, we plan to do it. Uh, we'll see how long it will take. I'm not sure about the dates. When it's a race, we, we, we will let you know. But yes, it's important we understand it. Okay, uh, next question. Uh, do we want? Uh, do we plan to support Apple's pair up VPN for remote connection? Yes, uh, we planned it. For now, we develop this function for Pro. Uh, with this function, uh, VPN uh, will will set up uh, automatically from our application uh, without any uh, any settings from users only for integrators, and after uh, testing on Pro, we improve this function in Lite too. Uh, what about AMX? Will it be in Lite? Yes. Yes, for now we 
testing a model, it's, uh, it will be available in the nearest soon. soon yes. Uh, is there AV custom driver available in Avidian Light? Uh, actually, everything that you were able to do with AV and custom driver uh, instead of free uh, programming of modules is available, but you have to choose which modules you, you want to control, which hardware, AV hardware you want to control. So we do not call it like AV custom driver. Uh, there is no AV custom uh, license. But you buy a basic one or starter or uh, how to say advanced, and then choose modules to control. If you want to create your module, you go, uh, you become our third-party developer and use API to control the module. Then you approve it and it's uh, published on the store. So uh, it's a bit different uh, thing. Okay, about. Uh about the hotel system, uh, I think a uh, good uh, idea, uh, send a message to our market. Yeah, so uh, there was a request about hotel, and I'm sure that uh, you, uh, gentlemen, ladies, uh, face with and uh, start to work with projects uh, which are multi-apartment buildings or hotels. So we would like to say, uh, in order to and bring you the, the best solution from our side uh, in case of architecture, in case of required products and its pricing. We would like to ask you send your request via email. We'll just uh, explain it deeper and on the paper uh, via email and then can proceed to speak in Skype. Generally, yes, I read your light is a good solution, for example, for multi-apartment uh, projects, also can be used in hotels, but we have, have to understand your, uh, your tasks. Is it about bring your own device? Is it about using pre-installed panels in, room, in rooms? It depends. So if you have questions of projects of hotels, multi-apartment uh, buildings, you're welcome to contact us. Okay, the, the simplest way is to send it to contact at iridiummobile.ru Can I use Iridium Lite with the test mode? Yes, of course, it's possible. Uh, when you activate new server for your project, uh, it's automatically uh, check uh, test mode. Uh, it's possible as well. So for installers, it's not required to use uh, to get any license. You just upload i3 Lite and uh, use your account uh, to log in. Then you, you, you test it. The only thing which is limited is about sharing it with a customer. So the only way to share it is to pay uh, for a license. And after it, you're able to share a project with a license to a customer. But you can uh, try to test functionality upload modules, everything that we will show uh, in a minute, I think. Yes. When will models be available for TV lights, Samsung, Sony, or G Sony directly from IP control? Uh, for now, in our store, we don't have these models, but we plan to uh, develop a model for Samsung, and we hope what uh, uh, other uh, so developers, developers actually yes. also will be connected in order to uh, to to develop them because we think uh, this model uh, very simple for programming and and yeah one more remark it's about the uh, ordering of modules uh, just send your request to the system it will be very useful if they are not uh, here yet. That's the shortest way to get them uh, mentioned by us, by third party developers, and get them connected uh, to Iridium. Uh, there is a question about modes uh, in Iridium i3 Lite. I think you'll be able I, to I show, show it. Okay, we'll, yes. we'll show. Is module creation the same as driver creation in Iridium Pro? Uh, let's say you use the same uh, uh, tool, you make it in Iridium Studio, you use a video script, but you have to follow the API. What is it and what is the difference? 
just go to FAQ for module developers. You can see it here. Uh, the link can be got just from the first from the main page of our website, and that's it. So, uh, a question about uh, from uh, the last one, I think, for for, for now. Any about new Rosound. ATA uh, about for sound? I guess just uh, put it to the requests. Yes. Yes. Any new ETA on out updating of Isolite server server for firmware? Yes. When we expect it? This uh, done. This uh, end of testing. Uh, and in the nearest time, I think in the next week or maybe uh, another week, uh, we release this function for Raspberry Pi, only for Raspberry Pi, no for Windows. Uh, but in May, uh, we plan to uh, release it for Windows platform too. Okay, so far so good. Now let's switch to, uh, to an iPad with Iridium Lite. I think it would be the most interesting part of this uh, webinar to see how it works. Okay, then we'll come back to questions at the end of the webinar. Uh, just a second, let me share it with you, Alex. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Go. Go. Oh, this is an iPad. Oh my God. No, no, no. You can see. I see the iPad. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go. Okay, guys. Um, we begin with. Uh, Uh, can you hear me? Okay, okay, we, yes, one moment, uh, please, okay, yes, um, and again, first of all, we uh, log in to program, uh, uh, only with uh, Account is uh, installator. Uh, Iridium. Okay, and now uh, we can see uh, our products. This project's uh, installators. Yes, uh, and I want. Show you uh, create a new project. One moment, uh, Anton, come back. Yeah, let's just. Okay, I muted you. Yes. Now let uh, let us know if the sound is okay. Sorry, mm -hmm. there was a <laughs> issue on go to webinar platform. They just dropped me out. Okay, and we create a new project. Plus, good, thank you. Okay, pre. Okay. Uh, and firstly, we can choose uh, I have server or we haven't server. Uh, this is um, this point. For example, we can uh, choose I have no server, and later we can uh, connect server and uh, bind with our project. It's uh, no matter. A loading uh, configurator, and we can choose uh, some template. For example, home cinema it's uh, only one room, not more. Uh, apartment it's uh, one floor and uh, some rooms, and house is a uh, different uh, floors and uh, rooms. Uh, I choose house. 
Okay. And we can uh, add in a uh, room, rooms. We can add a room on second floor, dressing room, for example. Add. We can uh, change a room, a floor, uh, second floor, and first floor. It's very fast and very uh, easy. After create a structure, our object, our our buildings, we can uh, use a config. Config uh, has some uh, some options. Uh, a main options general. We can change a name our projects. Uh, choose a language. For example, we can uh, use different languages: Netherlands, Dutch, Espanol, etc. And in this uh, in this option, we can uh, see how many sub devices in our project. And I show you later what is the name. And next option is devices. Devices when we can set it up new devices to our project. We can use plus and we can use scanner for some uh, buses or some systems we can use that scanner uh, or uh, we can use a manually from store I did a manually from store and i show you how can we use a scanner for example we can scan uh, hdl uh, in our office for now uh, scanner searching all equipment uh, HDL in our office and I can choose some uh, some equipment and add devices and now uh, light automatically download all uh, all models what, what they need for settings uh, and adding uh, some different devices from scanner, for example, Duo Tecmo. We can use uh, KNX scanner, Domintel scanner, etc. Uh, I just... And the same path, uh, we can add in some devices. And it's it works simultaneously. Okay, and uh, one more. I add manually from store. For example, HDL relay without scan. Uh, I just set in how many counts, sub ID, device ID. And add. And now I have uh, all equipment in uh, my project. After this, uh, for example, I have Azure Dimmer with uh, six uh, channels, and I have Azure Relay with uh, eight channels, etc. Uh, and now I can uh, set in some uh, some properties for these devices. Uh, I can deactivate this uh, this uh, channel. For example, if I use uh, only four uh, channels in this dimmer, not all six, uh, I can uh, deactivate this channel and I not pay for this channel in my license. If I don't use it, I don't pay for it. Uh, I can change name, uh, light in room. And I can change type. Uh, this type uh, uses for integration with a uh, different system. For example, this type used in uh, integration with Siri or with in, in integration with uh, Alexa 
and some other path uh, dimmer uh, we can use for lighting. And sometimes light can be main light or back light. I can use main. And we can set location. Uh, later I show you how to uh, do this, uh, how, how we can do this uh, faster. But now it's a simple way. Uh, in hall, in kitchen, etc. It's a different uh, locations. And now we have, uh, and now we can uh, we can check what how it works. Yes, we can uh, on or off this uh, device. How we can uh, set location faster? We can use a filter by location. In filter, we can. Uh, Choose a no location, select, and for example, we just adding these uh, equipments to some location. And now we can, after start project, this we can see how it's uh, how it. Uh, how it looks like? How, yes, how it looks like uh, for end users. Uh, the hall, the kitchen, etc. In this uh, interface, we can uh, use room editor for edge feeder uh, lighting. We can uh, edit a widget. Maybe I just forgot. And I can add a photo, for example, photo. And of course, uh, I can uh, change uh, order in this uh, room. So it just, just look just the drag and drop. Yeah. Yes, it's very 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 easy, and it's a. Uh, different interfaces and uh, I can uh, I can back to uh, config and use some logic more logic for my, my project uh, first of all it's a markers markers is a very simple way uh, for adding some uh, some algorithm yeah. uh, for example uh, Turn on all lights. Yes, and we can choose icons for this uh, for this markers and actions. I can use uh, relay on and uh, edit system uh, action. For example, delay. I can set it up uh, not only on off. I can set up uh, a brightness in dimmer, for example. So dimmer brightness, yes. And uh, more logical function for this uh, markers. Uh, it will be works only if, but only if it's a very uh, flexible. Uh, Possibilities and condition and in condition I can use a schedule. Schedules, yes. For now, I don't. I I do not have schedules and I can create. Uh, for example, the day schedule at event. Uh, my day started at uh, maybe um, six o'clock. Okay, and it ended. At eight, at six o'clock too. Done. And in markers, I can use a condition schedules when day is active. This means what markers can run only if I have a day, not in night or on night. 
And uh, next uh, logical, it's a uh, routines. Macros, I, uh, I can start it only uh, manually, not automatically. A routines, it works without users, uh, just works. Uh, and routines uh, can be local or server. Uh, for local, when you uh, when you drop down your panel, not works. Uh, all logical is uh, down too. But for server, uh, you routines, you matrices, all works all times. And uh, I show you about local again lights and when it's a uh, my uh, reason uh, for using routines when when uh, we have some um, oh we not have some sensors oh, for example okay maybe we have some sensors sensors uh, when relay is on. When uh, somebody uh, turn on a relay one, maybe manually or from uh, other panel, uh, another panel, you can uh, add actions. Okay, you can uh, control some devices, or you can start it a macro, run one, yes, and but only if uh, works too, and. Um, some new function for light. It's uh, it's uh, improve for our product. It's a mods. Mods. It's about uh, about mods away uh, or it's about uh, mods arm. I don't know. Mods away. What what does it mean? Uh, when I can use this mod in uh, routines. For example, when at mods away on, then uh, started some uh, actions, and I can use this mods in a hell, for example, away. It's a it's a switch away. When I go from when I go away. I can turn on this mods and automatically started all routines, all matrices which uh, bind it with this uh, mods. Uh, and the next step, we can uh, use this mod for uh, for for example, if your uh, motion sensor is. Uh, mm, is a uh, running, it's a uh, evening. Uh, please notify me if, uh, only if I, I'm away, not if I in the house now. It's a basic uh, basic tools for more logical, more intelligence in our product. And uh, it's the end, it's a uh, users. You can uh, share to user after after pay after license, uh, but this uh, this option available to end users too if you if you want, and it means what you need only uh, have an access to my user to owner for example yes. And owner can uh, share this project for all of family of uh, own family uh, without you. It's a very simple way for uh, for controlling this project. Uh, I think it's all what I want okay. to use. Uh, what I want to show you. Okay, sounds good. Now let's get back to your questions, and if you have more, please let us know. Uh, let's discuss it uh, in Q&A, and then I will show you uh, just two minutes video uh, where we share the, the project with the customer. 
So you will see the complete uh, project creation from the scratch when you scan the uh, network, upload models, and uh, to the very end when the end customer log in to Ice Light and start to use it. But now let's let's get back to the questions. Uh, there were several. Just a second. Uh, there was a question. Can we upload the Ice Light project to Ice Pro to customize it and then upload it to Ice Light? So the uh, answer is no, because the only thing you can do is to use Ice Light itself and create a project in it. And there is no uh, way to do it uh, with a Reading Pro. Otherwise, use a Reading Pro if you need to customize it. That's the question. Uh, another uh, another question. Do we have any option after download the app to use the tutorial demo project? No. That's an interesting question. Does it mean that you want to be logged in as a dealer and see, let's say, one or two projects that were created uh, by us, and they are available for you to see, let's say, how the ideal project in Ice Light could work like? could look like. So I think it could be uh, a case, but it depends if you're asking about it. So to be logged in and to see a few examples of already made projects, which you can show to the customer. Am I correct? Let me know. Let me know. But I think, I think it could be so, because otherwise installers will create something, uh, I don't know, not so good looking like it, like it could be. Yes, but uh, in this case, we can't uh, share some project only for for show uh, because all of all, all installators okay, can, can show how how it uh, works and change this project always. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's a good question. Just let us know if you think in this direction. That's what you meant. We made a note and we'll discuss. It. Uh, another question, uh, have you fixed, uh, fixed the problem with reactivation of all sub-devices? Uh, then you think or, uh, synchronize it with the server. Uh, about? Uh, I think it's about the sub-devices uh, from Mikkel and from ah, Room. Okay, from Mikkel. We discussed Not it. Mikkel, uh, but Room, but I think they uh, were... We discussed it uh, some days ago. ago yeah. Yes, and uh, we, we, we will we fix uh, this problem in uh, release version. If uh, it still appears, it still appear, yes, please. Uh, Contact Alex directly yes, or via Mikkel. Because uh, I know we fix it. Uh, OK, another question. Can I upgrade the license? Yes, uh, it's possible. Let's say you've calculated that it will be about 60 sub-devices, but then you uh, made uh, an installation uh, and realized that it requires a bigger number of uh, sub-devices. Yes, you can upgrade it. Paying the difference. The develop can be in Windows PC. Yes. So the, the answer is yes. You can use it on Windows. And we have it for Windows, right? Yes. Uh, for me, in oh, okay, I will. Uh, there was a question about email. Uh, our email, I will let us know. Can we add weather and camera to main screen, Alex? Again, can we add weather and camera to main screen? Uh, for now, not. It's not possible. But uh, we plan this uh, functionality in the next time. Uh, yes, but but now it's not possible. Okay, another question. Thank you. Okay, so Celio uh, said yes, we are right. So we'll think about it. Mm, I think it's a good way. Case. Will schedule work when iPad screen is locked when used in local? So I guess it means when you saved it locally, will the schedule will still work? Uh, if uh, this uh, if this rotates uh, locally. Yeah, and if if you iPad is off, turn off, it's uh, routines not work. So the screen is locked, even though it doesn't work. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So the application should be opened, 
uh, when application open, yes, it works. It works. It works so yes. once you minimize it, uh, yes, it's not working yet. Okay, clear. Thank you. Now, will you be uh, releasing Eclipse LC bus module? They ask him. Do we have it in our plans, or we rely on third-party developers in this case, Alex? Uh, for now, we don't have plans uh, in our plans because uh, because no, nobody uh, asked about it. If you uh, send an order in our system, yeah. I think it's possible because uh, we have some uh, installators, uh, some distributors in uh, New Zealand uh, who make good but, but solutions. Not, but not only that. The thing is, Matthew, when you send it to a request uh, uh, system, uh, it pays attention not only of us, but also from other installers. They will vote for it. And third party developers can start working it also. So do it if you haven't done it yet, please. Okay, uh, next question. Uh, one key in X relay is one sub device, even if it is five objects to link. Okay, one key in X relay, right? Yep. Uh, one can relay is one so yes yes uh, it uh, no matter how objects uh, to link this uh, relay you control only one KNX relay not more uh, if you use uh, for example if you use uh, if you use RGB dimmer uh, with uh, four channels or three channels RGB uh, and brightness. It's just one sub device, not one. Okay. Do you just use the that keynix approach file from ETS with the keynix scanner? Uh, no, it's uh, you. You must use uh, our studio on this moment. And yes, we plan to do this in our uh, cloud uh, for automatic upload keynix project file and. After this, download it in new JSON extension. But now you must use uh, our studio for importing uh, importing some uh, some uh, this file. Can I create visualization like button slider in a video editor and upload it as a module? So it's about modules as graphical elements. Uh, not all. Sometimes yes, you can. Uh, but uh, we plan to uh, develop, improve a uh, new function uh, with uh, styles. And after this, we can we can approve this model with uh, um, with uh, custom uh, graphics only with our styles, not more. So at the moment, uh, you can create modules only to control something. Yes. So it's not about graphic. Yes, yes, yes. OK, clear. Uh, about sending presentation, OK? Yes. And then the question, why we are unable to add weather and camera to main screen? Why? Uh, because because for, for now, it's not possible. It's not uh, improved from our side. So the only thing you can add is about matrices. Yes. Uh, for, now, for now, you can use only matrices, and you can change uh, an image on main page, no more. But I would say as soon as we get more requests to add this or to change it, we're flexible to do it. Yes. It's just a question of uh, requirements. Is it required just for one project? Or oh, it's in total will be a good solution for everyone. So send your requests uh, to um, email, of course. While we are waiting for more questions and almost finished with the pro uh, presentation, I would like to just show you uh, uh, a video where we show how you give a project to a customer. So you should see uh, a video started where we go to the configuration. We save the project to the cloud. So when you are ready with it, 
uh, and you save it, then you go to the website to buy a license. So now we are showing you how it works. Okay, you are logging in using password, etc., etc. Go to my projects. So where you buy license? When you have your project ready, on the project side here, you can see the number of your devices, for example. Okay, we have 18. You go to licenses, you create a new one. So it is already calculated which one you, you need. You create it and go to pay for it online or if you want to buy it via invoice, you buy it from a calculator. And when you bought it, when you pay for it, you go back to the application, you go to the users field, add a user, so you specify his email, so let's say it is this one, and once the email is here, you can choose which access rights you can give to a customer. So please you pay your attention on it. So you can give no access or just view routines, schedules or routing, uh, matrices, or you can give an ability to edit it by an end customer. So you, you do it here. And then end customer gets the email. Now let's switch to this one where we show what is going on with email. So I use my account of end customer and as a final solution, as a final result, uh, a customer upload a project from cloud, a project which was created by you. And then here it is. So it is arrived to a customer. And you see that okay, it looks like this, kitchen lights. And customer also can add something that was not in this zone yet. And then we go to routines because we are able to edit it. So integrator allows us to do it. We can do everything we want, editing, and then just save. So that's the idea. That's how it looks and works for an end customer. One more thing is about the multi-platformity. As Ice Light runs on different platforms, uh, if, a cost, if you, as an installer, create a project based on iPad, you shouldn't care how it will look on Android or uh, phone or on iPhone because it will be redesigned by blocks automatically. So actually it will look like lists on iPhone and on iPad you saw this list is just uh, split it by several zones, by columns. So that's the idea. You create the project once, then doesn't matter which gadget is used by a customer. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Several questions. Okay. Uh, about scheduling. Scheduling is working on a video light panel. Uh, what if the panel is switched off? So the answer is yes, it works on a panel, but if a panel is switched off, any schedules turn off too. That's why, for logical part, we recommend to use a video server as an idea. Well, I see no more questions, and actually it's time to, to finish. Uh, one more remark. After the webinar, there will be a pool with five questions. Some of them are pretty interesting uh, for us. Uh, it's about uh, hardware you want to see supported. And it's about functions that you want to see in a video light. Uh, please let us know. Uh, we'll be happy to add them in our development plans if we see uh, that they are required by many of you. Uh, well, thanks for your time. 
you are welcome to try Iridium Lite if you haven't yet, or add it to your projects uh, and use it. Thank you very much. Have a great day. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yes, presentation will be available. Sure. Uh, we'll place it on our website and send it to your emails. Okay, thank you, gentlemen, ladies.